Uh, so I'm very excited because I went to uh, an antique store and I looked and I found an old axe head. Kelly works through temper, it's so good. And I found another one. Look at that. So I will be uh, building it and we will bring you along. Okay. So first I need to get this old head out. So what I do is I drill some holes and then I take this is just an old piece and I hit it and boom, pop that out. But meanwhile, I have uh, this uh, old X head sitting in vinegar for a bit and I'm using this scouring stick. It uh, works quite well. So we will do that and we will let them soak. And then we will take a wire brush and scrub, scrub, scrub. And then we will take a sander and use a steel wool. And I'll show you when it's done. Okay. So after uh, scrubbing uh, with a wire brush and a pumice stone for like 20 minutes, this is what it looks like. It's uh, not too bad. So the vinegar should uh, continue to uh, eat the rust away. And then I will uh, steel wool it and brush it. And hopefully I can get the rust off. Hmm. Okay, so after... Uh, Soaking in a little vinegar for probably, oh, I don't know, an hour or so. And uh, some scrubbing and steel wool and using uh, various uh, items. Um, This is what they look like. And uh, here's my favorite. Oh, the double bit. So I, I also put a, a little bit of an edge on it, but I will uh, complete that with my uh, sharpening stone. So this is uh, what it looks like. Oh, it smells good. Yes, this is a true temper Kelly works. It's quite a good axe. It's an old axe, but it's good. So I will uh, put it on a handle. Okay. Hey, so this is uh, what I have so far. It looks quite good. I have a, a nice edge on it. This one is, it's okay. But this one's sharp and that's good. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be the handle. I just got done uh, sanding it just a bit because it had a like a lacquer finish on it I don't like that so I want to sand it all down and then I put my uh, Danish oil and linseed oil and it's good so I just need to sand this off just a bit it's too tight of a fit it hits right there and it hits right there so we are almost there Ooh. I love it. So I will just use this uh, old little sander and, oh, hoppy. and yes we will see how it works Okay, so let's uh, let us see if it fits. So that's a good sign. Now the fun part. Hold it like this. Aha! So it almost went, but as you can see, it's starting to hit right here. So that means I need to take off more material right here. But that's how it will look. That's a nice looking X. And there we go. So we need to take off quite a bit going down. Going down. So I will do that. Okay, so that is on quite quite well. That looks good. So this is where we put our wedge in. So this wedge probably won't go all the way in, but you want to make sure that it's uh, the right size for your exit. So it fits right there fits right here and it looks pretty good i'm just going to round out the edges just a bit and then uh, pound her home you see how that uh, spreads open and that's how a wedge works it keeps it pushing against the walls of the x so it stays on so let's get our wood glue some on that side Rub it, in. it uh, doesn't matter how much you use because the rest will uh, come off you will see. Okay, so I don't think all of it is going to get in there, but we will put as much as we can in. Okay, so now I got it in. Now what I do is I will put it on some leather on the ground and very carefully pound it in. So there is where it wants to stop, but you have to keep going just a bit. Another thing you can do is you can do it on the ground like this and hit the end. That uh, tends to save your wedges just a bit. Aha, that's going. And then what you do is I uh, zip, zip it off. So I've done uh, <laughs> quite a lot of sanding. 
Oh, hoof <laughs> And But his knees, uh, now I will uh, cut half the wedge. So now the final thing to do is boil it up. I just have a linseed oil here. And uh, you want to put a healthy amount because this is newly sanded. And then you take a, take a rag and you wrap it in. This handle's okay. It's uh, the grain orientation is so-so. Eh, some say that matters, others say it doesn't. So, it uh, depends. Look at that. So, the only thing left to do is try it. And that's not too bad. But I will continue to oil it. Get it nice and oily. <coughs> okay, don't eat it. But that's actually not too bad of a restoration. It turned out quite well. I don't know if I like uh, this handheld right here. It's uh, okay, but it feels, it feels good in your hand. And if you compare it to my uh, double bit, there's my uh, Grant's first double bit. Oh, I love it. And here's uh, this one. It's uh, not too bad. As you can see, this uh, handle is way better than this. Poopy poops. <laughs> but yes, look at that. That is my newest addition to the axe. So I'm uh, quite happy with it. Okay, so this is uh, my uh, first axe restoration and uh, it was good. Okay. So, I wanted to show you the finished product. Look at that! So, this is uh, my uh, Kelly Works double bit that I restored. And I added a little bit of oil stain to it to give it that dark color. Yes, I'm pretty happy with it. But, what we will do is we will see how it splits. Woohoo! It sticks! But, let's see how it splits. <gasps> <laughs> okay, so that was a lot, <laughs> a lot easier than I thought. So, this is a very good axe. I love it. Ooh. I am very, very pleased. And <laughs> let's try a big boy. This is a little bit wider. It's not much, but it's a little thicker. Let's see if this works. Ooh! <laughs> yeah! Ooh! This is a, quite a good axe. I love it. And it's my uh, first axe restoration. Definitely won't be my last. 100. Look at that. So, this is uh, my Kelly Works. X restoration and I'm in love with it it's so good <laughs> I didn't think it would split that well but look at that oh this feels good I love it this is a, a great axe let's do some more splitting <laughs> this is a nice axe I love it Oh, I missed. That's okay. <laughs> Let's try this side. Oh! Uh -huh. <laughs> this is a great axe. I love it. Slices right through. Because it's got this natural wedge to it as it goes around the eye. It's so good. I wish I had some bigger logs to do, but all the big trees are healthy and we don't need to cut them down. Ooh, super, super simple. And then it picks it up just like that, like a picaroon. <laughs> Look, my newly restored axe. <laughs> I love it. It looks so good and it splits so, so, so well. And look at how pretty it is. I stained it. I feel very good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Makes me just want to dance. Dance with it. Dance with it. Puppy. Look at it. It's Max and I love it. Okay. Hello.